This is going to be a quick installation video on a door lock actuator on a 2007 through 2014 uh, Silverado, Sierra, Tahoe, Yukon, you know, Denali's, it's all the same. So I've already taken it apart, so I'm going to show you the installation and basically if you want to how to take it out, do it in reverse. But here is the new actuator. So I'm going to show you what the rods are for in case you misplace them or not sure what they're for. This one here, this long rod, goes here. This is for the door lock switch. Um, the Just the little rod that comes out up and down, that's what that's for. This is the, for the door lock um, stick, if you want to call it that. It just That's the indicator if it's locked or not. This is for the key lock cylinder that goes to the door handle. This one actually locks and unlocks the door. This one here is to the interior door handle. That just clips into the door handle on that end. And then there's also a spot here. This is for the exterior door handle. So when this goes up and down, this is what opens and uh, closes the latch. Um, so that's pretty much it. To remove it, it was a lot easier to take out the 10 millimeter bolt here. This is for the bottom of the window regulator. When you move this 10 millimeter, you can push this uh, regulator back a little bit, just enough to slip the actuator out and in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fight it in there real quick, and I'm gonna cut away and come back to the next step. This is the time to plug it in. This maroon clip is kind of like a retaining lock. To remove it, you pull up and pull the plug out. To release, to install, you push it in, push the maroon pin down, and that'll lock it into place. Just like that, it's installed. Make sure your rods are lined up. This one's gonna come out of here for the door lock stick. This is the old interior door handle cable. I can go ahead and remove that. I'm not gonna need that since I have a new one. So at this point, all I've done is set the actuator in place and thread in the T30, the Torx T30 screws by hand, just to get it in its place. And I have the rod for the lock uh, stick in the hole that it's supposed to go through. This is all I've done. And of course, you saw me plug it in. So from here, I can work on getting the rod clipped into the yellow latch. And then also I have to go up here and make sure the, the rod is going to the cylinder there. You can see it's hanging out close in it. It's close to where it needs to be, but I need to actually click it in into that pink looking C-clip that I'm trying to focus in there. That's where the lever needs to click into for the for the key lock cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and snap it in place and then I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So here's the rod for the key lock cylinder. I'm just gonna click it into place. It's already installed. Easy as that. So now I can move on to the rod that's for the exterior door handle. Follow it down here and it's supposed to click into the yellow latch that I showed you right there. The rod is dangling close to it already. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna cut away. Well, actually, hold on. So I have that latch open. I'm gonna slip the grooves of the rod into place and close the latch on top of it. So I'm just gonna position the rod where it needs to be and then close this yellow latch clip on top of it. Click it in. That should be good. Now the only thing left is the is the cable for the interior door handle, which is here. So I can work on removing the stock cable and then clip it in the new one in the place of the original. Just installing a new cable. Clip goes there, second clip goes here. And this will go to the interior handle. But before I, re I reinstall the panel, I'm gonna roll down the window, close the door, and test the exterior door handle and the interior door handle cable, just to make sure it opens and closes. And I'll go ahead and test the key as well, make sure it locks and unlocks. Make sure you roll a window down for this, just in case it's not installed properly, you have a way to open the door from the inside. So I got the window switches temporarily plugged in, rolled the window down. Before I shut it, I'm going to tighten the T30 torque screws that secure the actuator to the door. Then from here, I'm going to shut the door and make sure that it works properly. 
So I'm going to test the outside door handle now. It works properly. So now I'm going to test the interior door handle. This is what should pop it open. It works properly. So now I'm going to push the lever down, make sure it's locked. It's locked. So for me, the final test is to hit the lock and unlock button because that was the, the main concern is the button to not lock and unlock the door properly. So as you can tell, the button is locking and unlocking the door now. It was all because of a faulty door lock actuator. So now I can just reinstall the door panel and it's done. I mean, it's best to try and reuse the door panel cushion here. It kind of isolates road noise and keeps it quieter as opposed to just having it off and having uh, the door shell exposed. Just a little bit of a sound, sound deadening material. So from here I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the door panel. But before I do that, of course, you got to install the interior door handle cable. Make sure your window switch wires and everything are going through the hole so that you can plug them back up to the switches. Feed them all through. And this one here has uh, seat heaters. It actually has a wire loom that you got to grab and plug into the window switches. So the easiest way to install the door panel is to actually hook the top of the panel to the weather stripping. There's a groove here that the panel is supposed to sit in. So you hook the top and you go ahead and start clipping in all the clips and run along the perimeter of the panel. As easy as that. Make sure you pull the wires through this opening here. Make sure that you install the cable for the interior door handle. Make sure that the rod for the door lock stick is going through the opening. And then from here, I can go ahead and reinstall the window switches. It's actually labeled what color goes to where. Like there's brown, green, gray, black. It tells you what plug goes where. So securing the door panel is going to be a 10 millimeter bolt located here behind this cover. There's going to be two bolts, one here one here, one here, behind the cover that pops off. This is the cover that has to be removed that just has two clips and it has a little groove on the bottom that actually allows you to pop it off with like a small screwdriver. Right there. There's, there's, it's notched out so you can fit something there. I use the pick. That seems to work pretty good. And the cover for the bottom two tens is just this little... And for the bottom two tens, this is the cap. Just pop it into place only goes one way and for the door lock stick it has this little release to re remove it you have to pull it out and to install it you push it in and it just all it does is grab the threads of the rod to keep it in place so make sure that it's in the unlock position so that the rod is up as high as possible when you install push it all the way down until it bottoms out on the release and then go ahead and push it in and that's the install position so now when it goes to lock it goes in. Unlock. Locked. So the last thing is just to reinstall this little um, side mirror bolt cover. All it is is two clips on the back side. You can just literally pop it off really easily. That's installed and there it is. Completed door lock actuator installation. I'll link out the uh, door lock actuator in the description. Please, if you do need to buy one, buy one through the link in my description. It helps out. All you really need to do this job is a 10 millimeter with an extension to reach these tens here and a T30 Torx to remove the actuator bolts on the side. Besides that, maybe a clip tool and a flathead screwdriver would help. But if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.